And I'm telling you, it will align so magically as you look inward, you heal that friendship wound, you embrace the loneliness, and you will find your tribe. everyone welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel my name is Alyssa cotton and i provide emotional and mental support so you can thrive in your life and in today i'm going to talk about feeling lonely and healing your friendship wound so you can attract the most amazing aligned friends that you've ever desired if that's something you want to learn more about stay tuned till the end to learn how i healed my own friendship wound and manifested the most amazing friendships ever let's get started Feeling lonely is one of the hardest emotions to experience. They've actually done research and studies and it has shown from the ages of 25 to 35, feeling loneliness is a deeper negative feeling than someone even in their late 60s, 70s, or even 80s. And that loneliness in your early adulthood or mid adulthood, whatever you wanna call it, hits us even deeper. And what happens is, as we're on this journey of feeling really lonely and we're trying to connect with friends, we're trying to connect with people to have that social experience with, we feel that we're missing out. As we see on TV and as we see in the movies, everyone has their core group of friends, that group of friends that they can call on no matter what to be there when they need a friend. And you might have clicked on this video because you are experiencing some loneliness or you are desiring a deep connection with friendship. I'm gonna go over how I healed my own friendship wound, how I attracted the most amazing dynamic friends, and how you can start that journey yourself. So you might be asking, well, what is the friendship wound and how do I know if I need to heal it? So the friendship wound is basically exactly what it sounds like, a friend in your past or even your present who has wounded you emotionally. And you might be wondering, well, how do I know if I have a friendship wound? And here's something easy and kind of silly that will help you identify. And I cannot play this song due to copyright, but if you listen to, pause the video and listen to Taylor Swift's, pause the video and turn the song Bad Blood by Taylor Swift on. And as you're listening to this song, what friend pops up in your mind? We all know that that song was about Katy Perry and her falling out with Katy Perry, and it's all about the friendship wound. So as you're thinking about it, I even got the lyrics right here to go over with you. So the lyrics start out by saying, we've got bad blood, we used to be mad, mad love, now take a look what you've done, baby, now we've got bad blood. We've got problems, I don't think we can solve them, you cut me real deep. And then it goes on to talk about how these wounds have really hurt her. And she goes in and she says, I still have scars from my back from your knife. And she goes in and she talks more about her wounds from her friend. So as you're listening to that song, ask yourself who pops up, what friend pops up. It can be someone from your past. It can be someone from your present. And ask yourself who is showing up. And that is a really great start of identifying that you have friendship wounds. So now that you've listened to the song, and maybe you have identified some wounds that you have, it might go back to kindergarten. And that's okay. We want to heal all of those wounds because when we can heal our friendship wounds, what happens is our brain feels safe to make new connections. What happens is our brain gets scared due to our friendship wounds and it's hesitant to put ourselves out there or it's hesitant to make new connections. And when we're hesitant to make new connections or put ourselves out there, it's really hard to make new friends, which leads into the next thing, limiting beliefs. I used to have a limiting belief that it's impossible to make friends as an adult, that because I'm no longer have coworkers, because I'm not in school, I'm just not meant to have adult friendships. And that was a limiting belief that I had to work through, that I had to heal in order for me to attract dynamic friends. 
And how I got into healing the friendship wound was actually when I was working with my EFT practitioner, Haley Hoffman Smith. And we actually went through and we tapped on, you know, I love some EFT tapping. We tapped on releasing those emotional wounds that I had with friends who had hurt me. First off, I went through and did like a timeline of all the friends that have hurt me, that have wounded me. And I went through and I did some healing work around those friendships. And no, I am not innocent. I'm sure I've hurt people along the way. And if I haven't made amends to those people, I do what's called a living amends. And a living amends is being mindful of how we might have caused someone pain in the past and how we are being intentional of not doing that again in the present. Obviously, we all were young at some time and maybe we were leaning in with selfishness because we really were just trying to sort out our trauma and trying to figure out what it means to be a good friend. But some friends I am no longer in contact with, I would have no idea how to contact them. So I can do a living amends, which means I am sorry for what I've done. I will do my very best not to repeat it, but I am unable to reach out to apologize. Also, sometimes we're unable to apologize because the other person, they're not in our life or it might cause more harm. If you're familiar with the 12 steps in sobriety, it talks about making amends to those people that you've harmed. But if it causes the other person more harm by doing that amends, then you do what's called a living amends, which is making that intention to yourself to live a better life where you're no longer hurting other people. So now that you've identified who you've got friendship wounds with, you've got that timeline of maybe memories, experience, and events that you need to heal, you can make that plan to start healing it. And how we do that, we can heal it through EFT tapping. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out my mental health membership. We do group tapping every single month. And I also have individual videos that you can tap along with to heal those friendship wounds. So first we've identified the wounds. Second, we are going to make our healing actions. And then the third thing is really fun is we get to identify what type of friends do we want to attract into our life. So as I was doing my healing work, I was feeling really excited and motivated to meet new people that were at the same stage of life where I was at you make room for the people who are meant to be in your life. And something that someone once told me is, you haven't even met all of the people that you are going to meet in your life to this date. And if we can have hope that there is another person out there who is aligned with our beliefs and our values and can be an amazing friend, then you can use this time of loneliness to heal those wounds. So when you meet that perfect friend, you are ready to have a healthy friendship with them. So now you might be asking, okay, I've identified who's hurt me, who I've hurt. I'm making a plan to heal. I'm making a list of what I want to attract. So some of the things that I wanted to attract was um, women that were my age, people who love Disney. <laughs> Another thing, which is really silly, I wanted to find women that wanted to hang out during the day. I was no longer wanting to do the really late nightlife scene, and I wanted to do daytime activities. So now that you've written your list, what you get to do is make a plan to embrace the loneliness. And you might be saying, Alyssa, like that's the last thing I wanna do is embrace the loneliness. And when you can lean into that loneliness experience, I am telling you that is your secret superpower. So you're gonna use this loneliness, maybe it is a Friday night and you have no friends and you are all alone and maybe you're watching this video. Use this time to nurture yourself and give yourself that self-love. Use this time to explore your hobbies. Use this time to create a bucket list. Use this time to nurture your inner compass so you can align your beliefs and values so when you meet that person, you will know, hmm, I really think I could be friends with them or I think that I could be in alignment with spending time with them. And I'm telling you, it will align so magically as you look inward, you heal that friendship wound, you embrace the loneliness, and you will find your tribe. I interrupt this video and I wanted to start doing a community shout out. So as I'm talking about the friendship wound and healing the friendship wound, I don't want you to underestimate the value of online support. 
And so I'm so grateful for the online support that I have that I wanted to do a couple of shout outs. These three individuals have been supporting my channel for over uh, since I started really and I wanted to give out some shout outs so if you want to be featured in one of my next videos let me know in the comment section below by leaving a thoughtful or inspirational comment and you will enter an opportunity to be shouted out in my next video. So these three next individuals are all content creators so I will leave their YouTube information in my description below so you can check them out and give them some online support as well. So the first online supporter who I wanted to give a shout out for is Linimation and she sent me the most thoughtful comment. She said, yeah, Alyssa, I'm so excited for you. What an awesome camera. That was on my vlogging video. She does travel, lifestyle, and Disney videos. So definitely go give her a check and a subscribe. The next one is Mimi's Life and she is so incredible. She does the most amazing, beautiful paintings and artwork. Definitely give her a follow. And she also has a mental health awareness. She does incredible videos. Definitely take a look at hers. Her comment was, I'm going to decorate this weekend. It's a great idea to map out the next 90 days. Thanks for making me aware. Thank you for being here. The next individual that I want to shout out, definitely go take a look at her channel. She does Disney. She does all types of planning, planners, plan with me. So incredible. The Mandarino Adventures. And her comment says, love the cute overlay of fall around the house. Thanks for the reminder of quarter four goals. I just want to give a shout out to these three individuals. So definitely take a look at their YouTube channel and you don't need to have a YouTube channel to be featured. I just want to start sharing and shouting out to the community of people who support my videos and say thank you. Now let's get back to the video and I'm at a very different stage of life. I'm married, but I don't have kids. And a lot of my friends are either single or married with kids. And so having people in a long-term committed relationship, they don't have to be married, but having that long-term committed relationship without kids was kind of the friendship group that I was looking for. And nothing against my friends with kids. I love you so much, but I just have different needs in that stage. And it's really fascinating how fast this turned out. So I met this beautiful, amazing girl named Lynn um, during the pandemic. We kind of connected via social media and she's at a very similar stage of life. She's a content creator. She loves Disney. She's married. And she and I started getting lunches and I loved getting lunch with her. And then she messaged me and said, hey, I met this new girl. I really think that you would connect with her. And then all of us went and we had a self Selfie world day. I'll insert some videos here. And we had an incredible day. And that was the first time that I had met the girl Sierra and Jen. It's so fascinating. Her sister, Jen, we went to school together, but we never had class. We went to elementary school together, but we never had classes to be with each other. So we knew of each other, but we actually didn't know each other. And then the next hangout, Lynn invited this amazing girl named Jessie, and we all just connected and we clicked. We all love Disney. We're all in relationships. We all are just working towards our goals and our dreams. And it felt really amazing to have women that support me in my goals. And something that I've never, ever, ever had in a friendship, which is really embarrassing to say and it's really hard to say but I've never had this ever is when the group doesn't hang out as a whole typically if I've hung out with other people sometimes we would get caught up in talking about the other person not even maliciously but just talking about the other person and this is the first group of women that I've had a group of friends where nobody is talking about the other person and at first it felt really foreign and weird because I've only been around other people who talk about other people again not always maliciously sometimes they are gossiping but typically not and that is when I really knew that I had found a group of friends that was aligned with my beliefs and values when I was hanging out with just one person they were not talking bad about the other person they were not saying inappropriate things they weren't questioning like why did she do this or can you believe she did that or I'm not aligned with her choices 
And so what I'm telling you is that I'm here to say as you heal your friendship wounds, let me know in the comments below. Have you heard of the friendship wound? Have you explored your friendship wound? Have you explored your limiting beliefs around making friends? All of those things are a part of this process of attracting the most dynamic and amazing group of friends. If you're wanting to learn more about healing your friendship wounds, definitely take a look at the mental health membership. That is definitely something that we work on and we heal on how we can tune into our inner compass, give our inner compass some support so we can have the most aligned day, life, year, future. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I release videos out every single week and I can't wait to see you in the next video. And if you're wanting more behind the scenes content, definitely follow me here on Instagram, Alyssa underscore cotton. And I'm on there every single day providing support, inspiration, and motivation. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.